Spoodling? Hey, it's me. Hello, Afton. Thank you for joining. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. I'm slowly... Okay. I'm slowly sort of getting back into it. You know, my Twitter handle still has indefinite hiatus on it. But, I don't know. I've been enjoying playing video game. Uh, I'm very speepy. Do I have speepy emote? Hang on. I do have speepy emote. Um, right. So last time we got fired, and then everybody was like, "Hey, it sucks that you got fired, but uh, imp uh, people who own the means of production are the enemy of our class." So. It's not all bad. Um, I did some playing about off stream on like a different uh, different save file, and like just just explored, found some collectibles and things. Um, uh, the main thing I did was excuse me. The main thing I did was. Go through the uh, the some of the dialogue and make sure that like I didn't do things out of order, uh, and I didn't. You could only actually like characters only have dialogue dialogue when they're um, uh, as part of like a, a proper delivery. So you don't need to worry about uh, doing things out of order. Oop, is that one? Nope, that's flowers. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, so the thing that we're looking to deliver should be around here, right? <clears throat> yeah, in this sort of area. Is it this crystal? Is it this dog? Uh, I know that we need to get coal for somebody. Oh, hello. You and you. Um, hello. Is someone there? Oops. Sorry. Didn't want to scare you. Don't worry, Nipper. I'm just... It's just Mr. Canary here gets a little nervous. Aw, poor thing. I'm sorry, birdie. It's because I'm dressed like a cat. See, we're used to it being just the two of us, fully immersed in our work. So seeing a different face around here, it's very odd. No one ever, ever comes here, except for Mr. Soot. He likes to carry out productivity inspections, and um, I think he'll be coming to do one soon. Eek! I'll be quick then and leave you alone. I don't want to get you into any trouble. Can I um get a sack of coal? Alex needs it to get the train moving again. Coal? Oh, there's plenty of it. Be my guest, Nipper. Oh, um, this strangely glowing coal looks sort of magical. Um, are you sure you won't get in trouble for this, Miss Yulu? Nah, don't worry. There's plenty more where that came from, so it's fine. Hee. <laughs> All right then, I'm Mika, by the way. Now, if you don't mind, I have to get back to work or Mr. Soot will never grant me my own digging pick. Cool. So we got some gl glowing coal. Uh, is this the thing we can get through? Oh, it is. Uh, there's a, yell a yellow orb there. Whee! I don't know where we're going. It's probably good. Ooh, pretty. Oh no, my coal. Oh no, my coal. Just set it down gently. Uh, all right. Oh, hello. I thought you were a statue, but you're a, you're a guy. It's been an eternity since the last witch came here. Will you pay homage to an arcane source of wisdom or? Use me as a catalyst for your pride. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go away, you insolent witch pup. Hey, first of all, hello. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Secondly, why are you so rude? <laughs> you are a witch and your lineage says it all. I have no words for your kind. It's not fair to judge me like that. I just got fired. So was it fair to take advantage of my wind spirit? 
You witches just came to my sanctuary so you could put on a show by doing tricks on your wobbly sticks. That is what not what is not fair. I gave you my magic in exchange for being forgotten. Oh no, don't tell me. You are a vast source of natural knowledge left alone to rot and decay? Yes, I am. Oh, you are the heart of the mountain. I thought you were an old fairy tale. Well, myths can sometimes be true, witch pup. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. This is amazing. Well, I mean, you're amazing. Huh? Do you really mean it? Yeah, and um, I'm sorry to hear about your loneliness. That sounds very hard, though I have a feeling that no other witches knew you were here. If they had known, they would have come to pay you a visit and learn from you. Hmm, you might be right. The tone of your voice speaks, speaks of naive truth. You're not alone anymore. I'm here for you. And, oh, I know a scientist who would flip if... Ah, company. Attention. I don't deserve any of that. I've been so isolated, so lost in the depths of my resentment against your kind witch pup, that my own bitterness has withered my spirit. I'm of no value anymore. Oh, don't say that. On the contrary, you... Leave now, please. But I need to be alone, witch pup. Aw, poor guy. I hadn't spoken for such a long time. My lips were glued together. Aw. I love him. Oh, dang. My call. Uh, so can we just, like, drop down this and, yeah, get the tarot? Yoink. Which one is that? The Hermit. Beautiful. Love the artwork. I hope there's, like, proper full-size, um, thingy, uh, full-size versions of them. I think that was actually, like, a, a backer reward for the Kickstarter that I didn't get, because I thought, ah, tarot cards, who needs that? I didn't realize how cool it would be. Uh, okay, so we got coal for the train. I feel like the fact that there's a bowl up here is to suggest that we can, uh, we should get a fish and bring it back up here. Oh, hello. You're new. Hang on. Are you friend? No, I can't talk. Why can't I talk to you? Well, maybe you want a, f maybe you want a fish. Okay. So let's fly down, deliver this to the train. Um, and once we've done that, we can get ourselves a fish. Ooh. Wait. I'll do it when I'm not carrying something fragile. Oh, there's another one down there. Oh, there's two down there. Let's avoid the, uh, the smogular smoke. We could also get that one. Ugh, no, please. I want blue skies. There we go, much better. Just like in Wind Waker, when you go to, um, Great Fish Island, and it's, it's cursed with a with a perpetual storm. Whee! Hey! Hey! I got coal for you. I got coal for you. I got coal for you. <laughs> oi oi, skipper! So you've got your courier boots back <laughs> on. Not really. I'm just lending a hand. Simple as that. Um, they look like simple packages, but at the end, they turn out to be very meaningful. Hmm, um... and what about when you bring bad news? Oh, it's not nice, but it's all part of the job. And being there in such cases also helps them to cope hey. better. Ah, I see your point. We workers are the unsung heroes. Our work is hard and dirty, sometimes not even remotely pleasant, but we bring people together through their everyday needs. Look on their faces. The joy when they finally meet again will spread to everyone there. Uh, you said you needed coal, didn't you? Perfect, Skipper. That's really, really good. Just what I need to get out of here and finish the job once and for all. Excellent. So, uh, Alex, is this train, you know, magical? I mean, that glowing coal from the mountain fuels it, doesn't it? As a witch. Well, an apprentice, but... Anyway, I can tell the coal has something special oh. about it. Oh, I know nothing about magic and such light, girl. I just load the coal into the firebox and then, choo-choo, the train moves. Ah, uh, okay. 
Hmm, you seem disappointed, girl. Did you expect something else? Oh, hello, Togo. You right? Holy moly, don't you know how a train works? <laughs> well, no, I'm used to getting around on a broom, Alex. Um. Ah, so I guess you've never travelled by train either, right? Mm, nope. <laughs> Care for a ride? <gasps> <laughs> Brody! It's, um, the canary. It's a uh, glitching out canary. Hey. <laughs> Bird freaking out. Oh, hello, there's Bird. <laughs> hey Mika, are you free? I um I need a favor. Can you take care of this canary for me? I have to go home, but I'll be back as soon as my mom sees I'm okay, I promise. <laughs> Ah, wait a minute, this is Yulu's canary. It must have followed me. Oh, she must be worried sick after this little guy ran away. Hmm, he looks a bit dehydrated. I'll give him some water. Hey, here you are. Take it easy, pal. Oh, um, I'll give him a bit of birdseed too. He needs to regain his strength. Uh, hee <laughs> hee. Do you have birdseed in your pockets? Lovely. He's ready now. Okay, get ready for a ride, buddy. I'll take you back to where you belong. Fly safe. Are you telling me or the canary? Cool. Well, I presume... Oops. Uh, okay, the canary doesn't care about getting wet or getting bashed about a bit. What do you have to say? Uh, okay, let's go and find ourselves a... Fishy. <gasps> There's one. Nope. Missed. It's these handbrake turns. I keep messing up. There we go. Uh, right, what's the quickest way back to the top? Uh, I think it'll probably be round this way, down the windy, windy paths. Hey, kids. I do love the, um... The sort of vibraphone. I think it's a vibraphone. I'm very bad at recognizing instruments. Uh, the fishbowl, a big part of this game, or just the quest? Uh, you get taught how to fish very early in the game. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, it's not like a big part of anything. So it might just be like you use it a couple of times and then it's done. I mean, this might not even be the right thing to do with... Uh, there was just a fishbowl near the fountain. I was thinking, ooh, I know what to do with that. How many, uh, thing you use? We got 18, so we could buy another keychain. What do we have? Oh, let's get the froggy. Frog. Cool. Let's equip it. See what it does. Did, did that do anything? Oh, I see. Do you see the, the little... Um... Yeah, it's hanging off the back of the... Uh... Hanging off the back of the broom. That is very small. Pile of birds. <laughs> okay, the cap is still here. Does your broom run on flowers? Uh, at the moment it does. Do you want this fish, mister? Maybe. Ah. Oh, sweetie, what a little thing. What? You're not a frog. You're a kappa. And what are you up to? Hmm, are you trying to pass through the fountain into the spring? 
Ah, uh, I get it. You want to visit the heart of the mountain, right? Of course you do. Okay, okay. So, we weren't supposed to bring a fish to the kappa. We're supposed to bring the kappa to the heart of the mountain. Gotcha. We could also... This work? Nope, not high enough. Wait, was that somebody? Hello. <laughs> Yulu, I thought you'd be down the mine. Yeah, I should be working, but without Mr. Canary. I have a stack of birds here. Would you like to take one of them? Do you know my buddy tells me if the air is the safe down in the tunnels? Erna, ich in kann ich nicht arbeiten. But the truth is, he's my friend, and I love him, and I'm really worried. Well, I have some news for you. Look who's here. What? Hi, little fella. <laughs> he, he he flew with me to the Orilla Town train station. Uh, I was afraid that something bad had happened, but you were just getting some fresh air. I understand, buddy. I'd forgotten how nice it was to be outside. Uh... Huh? You don't leave the mine? What about this house? Isn't this your place? Uh-uh. Oh. Just storage, young nipper. I eat, sleep, and work in the same place. Soot says it's great for productivity. Um. But now I feel like I need to stay here for a while, get some fresh air. Mm. Ah, look at you, buddy. You've coped really well being in the big world. Are you hungry, huh? Uh. Mm, I doubt it. When I found Mr. Canary, Jean-Paul was there oh. too. Who? Oh, right, of course. You couldn't possibly know him. He, well... Birds are his life, and the moment he saw your buddy, he took care of him, and fed him, and gave him water. Really? That's so sweet. That deserves my gratitude. Wait a minute. Okay, that's it. So, um, Mika, could you deliver this thank you letter to Jean-Paul, please? Mm. Ah, no problem. This will be a piece of cake. Let's just balance it on top of my fishbowl. Uh, we'll be heading down to the farm anyway, because we've got this ostrich to drop off. So that'll be very efficient. Oh, excuse me. It's a cute little game, isn't it? Uh, hello, I have a friend for you. Here you go, a kappa for you. What about it, witch pup? Don't know for sure, but after finding this like guy, the blip, 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 after finding this little guy chilling in the shell ponds, I had the feeling he was trying to reach you, the heart of the mountain. Now look at its face, isn't it cute? It's really happy to be here with you. Witch pup, I've told you so many times. I wish to be alone. Nah, you can't fool me. I can see you smiling too. Yeah, I think it is adorable, but that doesn't mean. Shh, grumpy. It's decided. I'll find them all. Aha! Collect Kappa. Cool. Okay. So, how many Kappa we got? Three Kappa. Oh, and there he is. Little froggy baby. Oops, not that way. <sighs> Bonk. Uh, I don't think there's anything else up here. But there was a, a collector bowl that I wanted to grab. Whoop. There we go. I do love that you can just kind of rub your face against a wall and sometimes it works. Can we get through these rings? We might be able to. So there should be another couple of cappers somewhere. But... But where? Do you want ducks as well? Heart of the Mountain? Early PlayStation flight mechanics. Yeah, it is a little bit. Like, um, Spyro the Dragon or whatever. <gasps> Ooh! Aha! The Stella Trail. Ooh! Ooh! 
well. Uh, wait, was that? Got a BRB and grab some food. Okay, see you in a bit. Oh, it makes a little dingy noise. Maybe the goal is to like see some shooting stars? I definitely see like lots of very bright stars for constellations. But I don't know what to do with that information. Uh, Alright, let's just head back down for now. Oh, we could also... <clears throat> Got it. <laughs> the magician! Cute. Where did, where did the ostrich get to? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. The ostrich is fine, don't worry about it. Hooray, no, no thank you. Don't want a scary dark place. Oh, I see a sparkle up here. I just keep getting distracted. What is this? Hello? Oh, there's another little ostrich baby. Well, I found the rest of them. Uh, right, that's Alex. So I'm looking for Cecile and Jean-Paul. There they are. <laughs> hmm, see that, Mum? That's where the baby seagulls are, just over those cliffs. Ah, oh, I see them now. They are cute, yes. Although, they're the birds that stole our ostrich's food. <clears throat> hey. Oh, what's up, Mika? How you doing? Uh, I've brought you this. It's from Yulu. Hi, Jean-Paul. My dear courier told me you helped my birdie. I also heard you know a lot about birds. How fortunate that Mr. Canary ended up near you. I was so worried about him flying around Montgomery with those crazy winds. Thank you for caring, truly. You've earned a big place in my heart. Aw, Yulu is really sweet. The little birdie is lucky to be with her. Look, the seagulls are feasting on something over there on the island. Oh, they like it a lot. Maybe um, we can use whatever it is to make a bird feeder. Hmm, like the one you built for the train station? Train stations do need feeding, yeah. Yes, my son, on that way. Of course, they won't take all our little ostrich's food. That's brilliant, Mum. Ah, uh, do you really think that? Mm-hmm, of course, Mum. So, Mika, can you go and check? Yeah, sweetie, can you go and pick up whatever it is they're eating and bring it to us? Oh yeah, I'm on my way. Cool. Okay, I've also got two little ostriches for you. Ah, I have another baby ostrich for you. Thanks, sweetie. There's only one more out there, but I think it flew high over the mountain. I don't think you can reach it easily. Oh, poor thing. Oh, the last baby ostrich. Oh, they'll be so happy to be together again. Ole! Got all of them. You know, they're from the same nest and they're almost identical, so... When they were born, we couldn't tell them apart. And which one of them was the little rascal who was eating all the food? Oh, really? Uh-huh. So my Jean-Paul thought of giving him a straw hat to distinguish him from the others. But they're all wearing the same hat. Because the hat looked so cute on the greedy one that we had to give everyone a straw hat. They are so cute. Oh, hello. These two are on it. <gasps> oh, look who it is. It's, it's Koa. It's Koa from Summer and Mara. Mm -hmm. I also found an ocarina. Oh. oh, someone must be really sad to have lost this. It has claw marks in its holes. I know who that is. Okay. Hey, Koa. Uh, it's not the two on their date. I always wanted to take you here for a picnic, babe. Oh, because the beautiful view and the scenery. Haha, <laughs> very cute. Right, seagull thingy.
Hello! You know, they're from the same nest, so they were, uh... There we go. Here it is, the, um... What is it? Hmm, it looks just like a simple rock covered in mollusks and seaweed. It must have been under the sea for a long time to be like that, hmm. don't you think? Oh, um, is it just me, or is it a strange shape? Ah, uh, yes, like some sort of... Sort of like a piece of a mechanism. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what that is. This is the missing piece of the old windmill. Are you sure, Mum? Mm-hmm. I remember it from when you were still a little man, when I used to work there. One day, this mechanical piece, poof, vanished. The windmill stopped working. The replacements weren't made of Montgon stones like the other pieces, so they didn't work. And without an energy source, we were totally desperate. Then Mr. Soot popped up. Just in the nick of time, huh? Mm-hmm. At first he offered to repair the windmill, but after a while, he suggested the only way forward was to use rocks from the heart of the mountain to set up his smoke factory. Yikes. However, some of us refused to be involved in such a terrible scheme, so we quit and moved here, a place where we could start over and live at one with Montgorn like we used to. Hmm. Mum, I've heard that some of the factory workers did the same thing after the incident, although they moved to the old windmill. Ah, I suppose they're trying to repair it. Um, Mika, you need to give them this piece. Ah, okay. Let's get this windmill turning again with its missing piece. Cool. Let's do that. Ooh. Thank you, Aftons. It's very generous of you. Uh, I'm going to be entirely honest. I was thinking of turning off the... Um, the Let's do the ocarina first. Because I think that's probably uh, the less important thing. Um, oh, yeah. we got to do the radio as well. Ah, okay, so they're four, like, little thingy things. So this is part four of four, and then there's a three, other three, okay. Um, I was going to, like, try and turn off the Twitch partnership thing, because, like, I don't... Oh, ah, oh, that didn't break the ocarina. Uh, I don't particularly like... Oh, not tw uh, part affiliate? I don't know, whatever. Um... Because I stream so irregularly, and most of the people who are giving me money are just my friends anyway, it feels like kind of I'm taking advantage of their goodwill. So, I don't know. If I could turn that stuff off, I would. Thank you, but... but thanks, but reconsider, in the immortal words of uh, uh, Skullface Bookseller Guy. I have an ocarina for you. Hi, Kiala. Hey, how you doing, Mika? I was passing by the beach and I had a hunch, you know? I saw this ocarina and I suddenly thought of you. Ha, huh, that's because it's mine. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I lost it when coming to the island some time ago. I always forgot about my beloved potato flute. Thank you for bringing it back. Excuse me. Cool. So, what else we got? What else we got? We could go and pick up the radio. And the, the TV, actually. I need to work out who the TV should go to. What does it say? Uh, it say... It's not the latest model, but that doesn't mean it's cheap. Not the latest model. That doesn't mean it's cheap. Well, the little gremlin kids are always, like, buying stuff, right? But they're usually buying things that are, that are the latest model. Because they steal their dad's credit card. Uh, let's see if we can give it to the gremlin kids. Oh no, they want kites. They want their kites. Uh... Wait, wait. Ooh. Hmm. Wow, what about this photo? A puppy? How cute! Oh, and this girl, um, she seems familiar. Isn't she the parachutist? Aww. Is it, that is a cute dog. Right. Uh, we can only carry three things, can't we? Yeah. Okay. So, let's go back up to Moon. Um, we should be able to get there pretty quick, because we've got the... 
Oh, there's some tourists over there. Oh, the battery. Don't tell me I took pictures with the camera off. Don't be careless or you'll fall off the cliff. Oh, these are tourists. Look, he's got I Heart Mara socks and sandals. She's wearing Crocs. Glad they're having a nice holiday. Okay, yeah, we use that air column. And we can get up to moon pretty quick. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Ugh. Hey, Moon. I got a picture for you. How are you doing? You sure you don't want to come down from that tree? Oh, don't worry. I'm happy here, thinking about um my future steps, getting some perspective. Okay. So, what's on your mind? Oh, just tedious stuff, like, you know, am I doing what I like? Am I really happy with it? Girl, you're an adventurer. No more boring jobs, because your sabbatical is over. Hmm, sabbatical, you said? Wait, adventurer? Yeah, I'm an explorer from outer space. That's what it was. I knew she was from, from astronaut. No way, so cool. How did you end up as a courier? Why the switch? Oh, that. Um, I thought I might need a break from my adventurous life, but it turned out that that kind of quiet life didn't work for me. I realized that the sense of danger and impulsiveness is what drives me. I even think I got distracted on purpose so I'd crash the plane. <laughs> really? Anyway, what brings you here? Ah, right. I found this picture of you inside the plane. Hey, is this my family portrait? I thought it was lost for good. <laughs> your doggo is really cute. You make a great family. Oh, Cheddar. I miss your tiny bready bomb buddy. What was the other thing? We were getting the... The radio from down there. Chet is a good name for a corgi. That's the name of uh, Captain Holt's corgi in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Can we just grab this from here? We can. Whoop. So, we've got a radio. We've got a television. So you're the guy who gets the rejo. Um, um. <laughs> Mikina, what cheer? Long time no see, dear Deccan. Mm -hmm. Hoi, Captain. How's it going? Uh, have you been expecting... Yeah, I hope she finds her way down from there. Well, she said she's fine and doesn't want help down. So, I don't know. Have you been expecting marine radio that you ordered a while ago? Well, it wasn't lost after all. It was inside the crashed plane this whole time. Oh. Mm, nay, I don't remember buying such a thing. Um, can you tell me who the sender is? It's Opik. Oh, right, now I have a vague memory. When he was a little deckhand like you, I used to leave him with the bartender at the sailor's pub while I was away. He always got mad at me for being away too long, so one day he said he was going to work at the pub. That way he could save up some money to buy us a marine radio so we could stay in touch all day. Oh, he kept his word. Indeed. <laughs> ah, all of this means he's finally ready. Oh, my boy, you may be sailing far from here, but we'll still be together. <laughs> my Opic, my captain. Um. Oh, are you available for a tiny errand? <laughs> At your command, Captain Ovel. Hehe, <laughs> okay. Take this, but be careful. It's really heavy. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Oh, what is this beauty? It has star symbols carved all over it. It's an astrolabe, an ancient nautical instrument that sailors used to navigate. Whoa, that's amazing. Um, I assume it's for Opik, right? <laughs> Aye, it's an heirloom that's been in our family for generations. It should have been for Opik's mother. Oh, Deccan, don't worry, really. It's all in the past now. I'm fine, we're okay. We're over it. Listen, despite what happened, he grew up listening to my stories and dreaming of sailing the oceans. 
I wanted to make him understand how beautiful the sea can be, and now he's ready to set sail. So what do you say, Mikina? Will you deliver my boy Opic our family astrolabe? Aye, Captain. Shipping right now. That's a good heirloom. Uh, before we do that, though, I've got a television that I want to offload. Just before I forget. Ooh, thing. Yoink. Oh, are the kids around here? Yeah, there they are. Hey, kids. Do you want a telly? I can't believe it. Dad changed the pin on the credit card again. Oh, yeah. I think these two come as a pair, so you can't interact with one without the both. Maybe I'll give it to the dad, then. <laughs> Hi, um... This package had this address, so... Oh, it had an address. What is it? A TV? I didn't order that. Unless... Oh, I get it. My children have taken my credit card again. At least he's happy about it this time. So... Let's go and take the Astrolabe back. Is this the last... It's not the last thing of the... Of the... Uh... Now nah, we're a bit, we're closer to the, closer to the, closer to the windmill, so let's just, whoop, zoop, just park all our way up there. Oh. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, these people aren't talking. Hey. Hello, I've got an extra gear. <laughs> oh, you, Lou, is that you? What are you doing here? <laughs> the air brought me here, Nipper. Aren't we surrounded by such whimsical winds? <laughs> See, um, I need to breathe some fresh air so I could think more clearly. I like mining so much that I've devo devoted my whole life to it, and Mr. Soot has abused that. But after I had a chance to stop and think, I realise I haven't been paying attention to what's really important, so uh, I just quit. It seemed like my only option for me and Mr. Canary here. Hey, how are you doing, buddy? He looks fabulous now. And you too, Yulu. Mm. Yeah, quit your job, folks. Yeah, I'm fine now, at last. And I'm not alone anymore, look around. Some of the other workers followed me here. Maybe um, they all felt the same way I did. So, yeah, so now we're trying to make the windmill work again. Oh, and how are the repairs going? Really bad, actually. We can't work out how to get it moving. Oh, really? So would you say you're missing something? Like, uh, this strange piece of stone? Oh! It looks like it'll fit. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get the mill blades turning. And clean the soot off Montgorn. There's a thing up there. Is that a... That might be a bird's nest that we can deliver to Jean-Paul. High five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so worried, little man. Oh, this guy doesn't have any dialogue. Those two have gone. I want to go up there and get that... Uh, bird's nest. I love the triumphant music. Man, it's so good. Oh, wait. So this way is the way. Uh... Hey, you. Oh, you don't have any dialogue. Oh, there's a collectible up there. There's a collectible over there also. There's a thing over there. Let's get the... Let's grab this. Egg. <laughs> wow, this egg is huge. Does it have a scarf around it? Cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's definitely for the farm.
So what is this one going to be? The Witch Trail. Is it just going to have, like, little witches? That would be funny. Oh, it's like little potion bubbles. I like that. Uh, what else is there up here? Nothing much. So let's just fly down to the, uh, the farm. Oh, we could grab this as well. Uh, I'm sure the astrolabe will be fine. What? It was? Wow. Death. Yeah, correct. Oh, the skull is making a smoke. I love it when... I love it when smoke... Smoke makes a skull. So good. Uh, not you. Probably is it you? Not you. Yeah. Where did I put? Where did the giant egg go? I put my scarf on it. Okay. So it's probably one of these two, since these two are. Wait, is that another one? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> it is you. Hmm. Some egg you got there, Mika. <laughs> he, yeah, extra jumbo size. Um, I figured it might be yours, so here you are. Um, yep, it's ours. Actually, hmm, looks like it's from the ostriches my mom breeds. <laughs> oh, this massiveness is because of you? Yeah, baby. Right, now we gotta go take our astrolabe. Uh, what other ones do we have? We've done that, so we need to grab the... Oh wait, is he still? I thought he like stayed in the same-ish place, but I guess not. Yeah, there he is. Fancy that, eh? Okay, this is not going well. You can jump off the water without touching it, so you don't actually, if you're careful, you don't need to worry about the uh, getting mm. things wet. Whoa. Hello. Mm. Ahoy, Opic. Mm. Ahoy, Mika. I'm glad to hear you speak sailor, matey. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> just a bit. Uh, I'm here because your old man wants you to have this. Oh, my mom's astrolabe. Oh. Is everything okay, Opic? Aye, it's just my old man. He's hinting me that my time has come to set my own course. It's strange because I came to the same conclusion some time ago. I even bought my old man a radio so we could stay in touch when we were apart. But it looks like the radio package got lost or something and never arrived. So maybe fate is speaking. And I shouldn't set my own course after all. Or maybe, matey, are you trying to wriggle out of it and make up an excuse? Yeesh. Not cool, Mika. Sorry to say it like that, but you know I'm right. Listen, it's just, I think... He gave me a much wider berth than I needed. Now it's too late. Well, um... I think he's telling you that actually it's not too late, but just the right time. Aye, whatever. Maybe I should talk to him. Once and for all. Ah, this time you mean for real? Okay. So that one doesn't have a, a last bit. Maybe I need to do all the other things first. So, we need to head up to... Sorry, I didn't notice like a dark patch on the, the cliff up there. Curious is about what that is. This is Fetch Quest the game in a cool flight platform. Yes, exactly. It's like Imagine if the Zelda trading sequences were just the entire game. Get item A, give it to person B. They give you item C. That's like the entire thing. Do that for a bit in the last Final Fantasy XIV E-Pack. Right, I have no idea what the dark area that I spotted was. Might just have been this thing, actually. 
Oh well. Uh, let's quickly check how much stuff we have. We have 17. I kind of want to save up for this. For the other outfit. The cat witch is very cute. But, uh... Try and get that actually. Ooh. Oh, windmill. Brimtrail applies poison for 20 seconds. Yeah, could do. I don't think I can get this. No, absolutely not. way. Oh yeah, there's the glass work that we need to... That's weird. Oh wait, it's already broken, that's why. We have to take it back to get it repaired. You can't break it more than it's already broken. I was so close to being able to get up there. Tantalizing. There's a guy. Ah. We'll get it next time. Gas-powered stick. Never runs out of gas. <laughs> Allegra, I've brought you something to fix. It's Vanny's favourite glass flask. Glass flask. Glass flask. This will be tricky to fix. Might take a while. That'll be just fine, I guess. Vanny needs a break. Uh -huh. She's working hard all by herself again, isn't she? Okay, let's take a look. Oh, it's totally wrecked. Um, I promise it was already like that. Maybe she should just buy a new one. Ah, uh, before you go, I need a hand. Kiala brought me her violin. Apparently it was involved in some kind of accident. Oh. An accident? Is Kiala okay? What happened? Uh. I don't know, but when I saw her, she was fine, but the violin, it was in very bad shape, almost beyond repair. Anyway, I managed to do a decent job on it, so I was wondering if you could take it back to her? But be careful, little one. A restored violin is a very fragile object. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, I'm serious. I don't want it back here in the same state that Kiala dropped it off originally. Okay, promise. I will be very careful. Look at how she's cradling it. Maybe she should get a case for it. If it's that ge ge delicate. If it's that jellical. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Ooh, didn't notice that pot before. I should go and get that. Here I am, your favourite thief. Ha ha! Didn't we agree you were the, the delivery girl? Not anymore. I got fired. Oh, that's too bad. Those greedy companies always messing things up. Just telling it as it is. So, what brings you here? You still ferrying or other people's stuff around? Yeah, but I don't really know why. I guess I have a gift or something. I just seem to know what people need to fulfil their destiny. It's hard to explain. Hmm, and you like it. It making them feel good makes you feel good too, right? Ha, same thing happened to me. Something like that happened to me when I played the violin. Uh, speaking of which... Wow, I can't believe it. You were wrecked, buddy. 
Uh, Allegra must be a witch. She must be using magic to have fixed it so perfectly. <laughs> well, well, uh, Kiala, are you going to play it or oh. maybe some other time? Oh. Mm, my relationship with music and with this violin in particular is complicated. Mika, I, um, I was a really good violinist when I was a kitten. <laughs> I had a natural talent for it, so why study? But after some time, I wasn't up to the task. Oh. Not only was I hitting the wrong notes, but I was failing myself. I, uh, I felt so insecure that I stopped playing. Aww. Oh no, I'm sorry, Kiala. It's okay, Mika. Um, do you want to hear something funny? I took it out on the violin. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't an accident? Not cool. The violin is not to blame for your torment. Aww. Yeah, I know, I know. You're right. Oh, um, I think I know how you feel. I put my lessons to get to the top of the mountain side. <laughs> Aside, now that I know I'm not a good, not as good at flying my broom as I thought I was. Huh? No way! You're actually really good at it. How else can you explain how you got here soaring on all those crazy air currents? But I, I'm not good at anything. That's why I'm alone. So that way I can't let anyone else down. Oh, my baby! What a big mood you are. Uh, I guess I don't. I think I have something for you. Although it is really bizarre. Anyway, take it. My plastic skull amulet. Oh. What? Creepy, huh? Hehe. <laughs> but listen, my mom once told me the skulls are a medium to our ancestors, and if I ever get lost... Oh, Mika, don't get me wrong, okay? But I'm not that mystical. However, um, for me, this amulet could mean something more rational. Hey, this is not a reminder of your diet, is it? Oh, oh no. It's just this is the first time I've had a proper conversation in a long, long time. Uh -huh. I feel pretty good, actually. So for me, this horrible plastic skull means that I can still connect with someone and that someone can still connect with me. I feel like if the game ever offers you an opportunity to give somebody a thing, you should always take it. Do you want to see something cool? Sure. I found this pendulum some time ago, but it's not an ordinary one, no. It swings in a really, really weird way. Hmm, would you say it's magical? Hmm, I never thought about it, but yeah, maybe it is, yes. Well, I think I know who could tell us. Who are you talking about? Ah, uh -huh. Vanny. She's a scientist, a really cool one. So, do you mind if I give, if if give her the pendulum? Oh, uh, yes, yes. I mean, yeah, no problem. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll tell her it's from you. Oh, um, wait. I'm not cool with that. Okay, don't tell her about me. I'm not ready. Or, well, do whatever you want. Sharing it with you is a really bad idea. Baby. I love her. This is a very sad, very sad baby. I messed up. Wait, this isn't even the... Uh, it'll be fine. Oops. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I am getting lost a little bit. It's fine, though. Don't worry about it. I think this way is the, a way to go. Yeah, there she is, see? It's fine. I'm all good. Hey, Vanny. Ah, witchy witch. How bad was the glass flask? Could Allegra fix it? Oh, not really. In fact, you might want to consider buying a new one. <sighs> That's a real shame. It was a special one. Mm, I'm sorry I wasted your time. I knew I shouldn't have accepted any help. Anyway, at least this time was worth it for new... At least this time was worth it for new developments in my research. Really? That sounds cool. Does it? Don't you find it boring? Ah, uh -uh, not at all. Okay, well listen, I found that if I can trace the energy source of the tornado with something like, um, a pendulum maybe? 
Yeah, yeah, that might work. But listen, Mika, listen to me. If I could track its origin, I could finally find the heart of the mountain. But you're still missing a pendulum, just like this one, right? Yes, that's right, that's right. Oh, wait a minute, why do you have a pendulum? <laughs> do you know Kiala, the stray of the meadows? Okay, never mind. She found this curiosity, and the moment I saw it, I thought of you, so here you are. Oh, I see, but Mika, um, you... you... I know, I know, I shouldn't have, but... Tch, no, I mean, uh, this is not easy for me. <clears throat> I just want to say thank you for helping me. <laughs> what? Ah, I feel so close to completing my magnum opus, Mika. However, I think I still lack a ton of knowledge. Oh, how great it would be if there was some kind of a magic library. <laughs> Uh, it would be so nice reading some arcane texts. Sure. Uh, Vanny? I think I have something just like that. Hmm, this magic book has been passed down from one generation to the next in my family. And, um, although I haven't finished reading it yet, I knew you will get more out of it. So, here you go. I'm lending you my magic book. Ah, this is amazing! So, it's not so bad getting help after all, huh? <laughs> Oh, I think I've checked on everybody. I'll meet Allegra to see how the party preparations are going. Aha! So that's the quest. The quest is go to everybody, get parties. Get part. Get uh, eventually get party. I still have a couple of things to go here. I have to find a kite. I have to find a kite. I have to find two little. Uh, who else are we missing? So we've done. Twin, Cecile, Ovel, Kiala, Alex, Bram, Andros, Cecile. Oh, there's two for Cecile. Uh, Moon, Heart of the Mountain, Simiente. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. We've still got a couple of places to explore, so. Before we go and get the. Uh, before we go. Oh, hello. Flying another kite. This is the airflow I was looking for. Now this is pod racing. Um, now this is pog racing. Uh, aha! Is that a little friend? Pod racing has too much crashing for kites. Well, depends how bad you are at flying kites, I guess. There's another little baby. Bit of a ruined amphitheater. That's not working. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring. Ah, man. Gonna need to get some serious hops to get up here. So close, so close, so close. Rainbow Trail. Man, there's a thing up there too. Okay. I think we're gonna have to like Skyrim our way up. Whew. Although we could try going around this way. Maybe this will work. Yeah, I know. Return to Allegra. I know, I know, I know. Don't think I don't. Hop. We did it. 
we go. Two little babies. Rainbow trail. Ah, we got all the trails now. This one? Wait, tell me. I think that's potions. Yeah, that's potions. This one? That's stars. This one? There we go. Oh, we're like a Nyan cat. Oh, you can invert it. That's interesting. You don't know how you feel about stacking baby cappers? Why? What's wrong with it? Ooh. Uh... Oh, someone left a teapot when they were in the mine? <laughs> uh, it makes perfect sense. I would run away in a hurry as well. Ah, uh, okay. That's for... Yulu. Hello, Simiente. I have your your babies. Whoop. You here again with another Kappa? <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, I think this was the last one. Wait, they talk the whole time? Yeah, and trust me, they rarely keep quiet. <laughs> anyway, they spoke out of the new winds that howl outside the cave. I would like to go outside, but I'm deeply rooted to these rocks. Oh no. Although I think there might be a way, which requires your handy cooperation, witch pup. Really? I'm all ears. Oh, it's an old ritual. Quite difficult. In which I... Well, how can I put it simply? Hmm, okay. I will turn my spirit into a Mongon seed. <laughs> What? Just as it sounds, witch pup. So once planted, I'll grow again where you bury my spirit. Aww. Wait, bury, you said? So that means... Ha, <laughs> unbelievable. You've given me faith in your kin again. Oh, and I know you'll choose a good viewpoint. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll help you grow out of this cave. So that's what the, the that looks like. Those are Montgorn trails. Montgorn seeds. Do you have anything to say? Nope. Well, those guys are going to be lonely now. I mean, they're all together, but... So do we have any idea where we're delivering this? No. Uh, I'm going to quickly go back to Yulu and... So the spirit is the heart of the mountain. That's that's what that guy is. Uh, let's go back to Allegra first. I feel like we're getting close. Uh, no, let's go let's go to Yulu first. Yulu and then Allegra, and then we can find somewhere to put the the Mongorn seed. Yeah, I do feel like we're getting close to the uh, the end game. I feel like we've explored just about everywhere there is to explore. We've filled up this card, we filled up this card, and it looks like there's only room for one more tab. We solved the problem of capitalism. Hello. Hmm. Hey. Hey, young nipper, how you doing? Hmm. Oh, hi, Yulu. Well, I'm looking for the owner of this teapot. I can't explain it, but I know the owner is pretty close. Um, huh? How's that? Mm, it's like someone misses the teapot so much that I can just feel it. 
Oh wow, like um, as if this teapot was more than just a kitchen accessory. <laughs> Say, like it's a memento of some very dear, like a family member and the owner is a person very far from home and the teapot is like a link to home? <laughs> yes, exactly. How do you know? Wait, this is yours, isn't it? Bwahaha, <laughs> bwahaha. I can't do a proper bwahaha. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, in fact, it was my mother's. All right, so my intuition wasn't so bad after all. Here you are. Um, you cool, Yulu? Uh -huh. Yes, young nipper. It's just, it's hard to be so far away. And the smell of tea brings back memories. Ah, I miss you, mom. I'll be back soon. Now I'm free, I promise. Yeah. How many collecty bowls do we have? We've got 20 of them. So we can get the other two keychains. Which means there's still 40 that we're missing. What? Aha! Aha! Hello. <laughs> Allegra, uh, how are the preparations for the art show going? Anything I could do to help? Uh -huh. Hi, little one. Well, now that you mention it, yes, there is one thing. I need you to deliver Andros an invitation. <laughs> Why him? Andros is very unfriendly. Well, he's having a really hard time. His debt just... Detch, his debt... Just, his debts are such a burden on him to the point he can no longer paint. He's lost his inspiration and he can't sell his art anymore, so he's trapped in a vicious circle. Oh, I've never thought about it like that. He needs to come to the party, get a change of air, talk to people. And I also have something in mind for him. I want Andros to take part as a guest artist. I have the feeling it will be good for him. I think so too. <laughs> Goes from cute to too real. I mean, the thing the thing about like cute slice of life uh, things like this is that they can handle very real topics like this in quite a sensitive way because you know I mean okay, so this game is very clearly taking heavy inspiration from Kiki's Delivery Service, which is my favorite Studio Ghibli film. And one of the big reasons for it is because there's just a big chunk in the middle of the in the middle of the film where Kiki has pretty bad depression. Like she's completely aimless in life. Uh, she doesn't know where she wants to be. She feels like all the magic is gone, and like she starts losing her powers and she falls into this vicious circle. And it's like, it's a it's a wholesome, sweet film, but that bit in the middle where she's just like suddenly in this dark pit huh. is uh i don't know i'm kind of tearing up a little bit thinking about it because it's it means a lot to me uh mr andros hi today i am the bearer of good news i promise uh... ah mika there is no excuse i was frustrated and for some reason i took it out on you yeah, yeah you were really nasty but i accept your huh. apology ah you are a gift a treasure I think you should um, spend some time with my twins. It might teach them some good habits. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? Ah, my whimsy, my whimsy profligate goblins. So, what about that great news, Mika? <laughs> oh yes, yes. Allegra's having a party, and she wants the three of you to be there. <laughs> also, she wanted you to an invitation to a party for us. Absolutely not. I cannot afford to spend any more money. Profligate. <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. Prof profligate. Profligate. Um, Allegra didn't mention that you had to pay for anything. No, I mean pay for proper outfits for the three of us. All our clothes are old and tattered. Ah, me. Uh -huh. The greatest elite painter of my time. The highest paid, the most fashionable, an exquisite bad example. I taught my twins that life was about embracing opulence. No savings, no plans. Um, what does opulence mean, Mr. Andros? Look at me. I'm a disaster of an artist, just like Tommy Wiseau. I wish I could find some inspiration again, like when I was a child. Yeah. Uh... Um, I think I have another delivery for you. Really? And what is it this time? Here, take them. My incantation temperas. Tempera paints. For my little imp, I assume. Bah, they will not appreciate them. <laughs> oh no, no. For you to paint with. Although Miss Witch Oligari asked me uh, asked for them to practice arcane calligraphy. Anyway, you'll make better use of them. 
Oh, Mika. This is such a sweet and naive gesture. I'm a professional painter. What could I possibly do with these chalky, dull paints? Paint a... a bluey, uh... plain sea, like a child? With a... a flock of blurry seagulls overhead? All bathed in a washed-out sun? Tracing a faint reflection on the waves? <clears throat> Wait here a minute, Mika. Where are you going? Oh, this is excellent! What just happened? Oh, something so simple, and yet miraculous. You inspired me to paint again. I did what? Do you think Allegra would like this painting? I should give it to her for sending you here. To be honest, I get the feeling she expected something like this. Mm. Really? She is a clairvoyant. Thus, my new painting is for her. It's decided. Okay, on my way. I know, um, tell her we are definitely going to the party after all. We have something to celebrate too. Andros's masterpiece. Beautiful. Do you kids have anything to say about that? Your dad's happy again. Party, party, party. Eat for free. Yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. The uh, party invitation was the last thing. Keep in mind, I could uh, I could have been balancing the 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 painting on top of two stacked uh, fish bowls containing cappers. Children, who are you? Are you the new couriers? <laughs> You're free to organize your schedule. So, are you interested, girl? She is clearly not. Man, this place has fallen apart without me. I'm, I'm sure you could, but should you? Uh -huh. Well, it's fine. Uh -huh. Hi, little one. Tell me, how did it go? Ah, it went pretty good, I think. Mr. Andros apologized. Uh -huh. Really? He's an unusual Elid. A good exception. <laughs> what? He is a good exception. So, what about the party? Are they coming? Yeah. He was reluctant at first, but he accepted the invitation and gave me a painting. Uh -huh. Ah, I see, I see. Well, seeing how the whole island values his work, it will, it, it will give him a much-needed confidence boost. <laughs> I'm really happy for him, truly. And this painting, whoa, it's a real masterpiece. It'll be in the centre of the exhibition for everyone to see. Uh -huh. Well, I think I have everything I need, so... Uh -huh. Are you ready for the party? Hey. Yeah! Hey, Diana, thanks for joining us. Yeah, it is very cute, isn't it? I feel like there should be some music here. Hey, we're doing it in front of the post office, because f <laughs> screw that guy. <gasps> oh, precious baby. She wants to make a friend, but she's too shy. So, what do you think, little one? Looks nice, doesn't it? Allegra, it is amazing. Oh, they got churros. Uh, but I can't take all the credit. You did your part with the whole Andros situation. Also, most of the villagers helped as well. Speaking of which, um, I need to show you something we've all been working on, but it will take a while, okay? Oh, what is it? Uh-uh, -huh. I'll tell you when the time comes. Okay, okay, I'll wait. Anyway, I have a feeling there are still things to do in the meantime. Hmm, yeah, the cook liked he looked like he could use some help. Oh, on my way. See you in a bit, Allegra. I love this smug little face that she does, this sort of raised eyebrows, half-lidded, like, yeah, I know what I'm about. Yeah, Lion Gal. Making friend. So, the there is a <laughs> there's also a Lion Gal in... Um, uh, Summer in Mara, ah. which is the game that they, well, they, uh, there's two games set in Mara, uh, and there's a, there's a lion gal in that one called, uh, Mayo. She is, ah. <laughs> she is just, like, the wildest gremlin. She is ridiculous. Hey, you need some help? Uh. Oh, hi. You can bet. We've already set the tables up, but we're a little busy finishing the ice creams, and then someone has to deliver them. Oh, well, I can take care of that. 
Ha! I knew you'd come through. Okay then. The twins are waiting for a chocolate ice cream. Also, Cecile wants a mint crystal ice cream. And Opik, heh, a gourmet Mara ice cream. Oh, really? Huh, what do you mean? Oh, never mind. So that's it? Uh uh, still one left. Yulu ordered a lemon ice cream. Okay, so, hmm, just four ice creams? I know what you're thinking, and don't take them all at the same time, Mika. It would not be very nice if they melt and I have to make them all over again. Okay. So, we can take three of them, though. Right, so, where is everybody? Let's quickly assess. Lion Gal over there. There's Opik. And Oval. There's the twins, playing with their drone. There's Yulu. Okay. And what was the last one? Cecile. Where's Cecile? Oh, there's the tourist again. And the two on their date. Oh, so cute. Uh, right. Okay. Twins want Choco. Hello, twins. I have Choco for you. <laughs> Why did father come to the party? He's embarrassing us. Stop that, father, please. Hey, why are you so uptight about your dad getting his sense of humor back? Oh, wow. You mean what he thinks is humor, right, Mika? So, you wanted an ice chocolate ice cream, right? Ah, finally. Hey, don't eat the whole thing. You didn't want it. Mmm, chocolate is a classic. Mmm, chocolate is a classic. You sound like father, Sib. Oh, no. Okay, now we will take the, that's the Mara ice cream, and that's for Opik. <laughs> Hello. Ahoy, Captain. Heh, <laughs> word travels fast, huh? Let's just say it's a small island and people like to talk. So, are you okay? I am. I really am. My old man, he's happier than I can ever remember. It was all a misunderstanding which needs to talk from the heart for the first time in a long time. Mm. Oh, Mika, is that? <laughs> aye, aye, Bram made you a Mara's ice cream. Um, did you really like it? Mm. Aye, I can't believe how delicious mm. it is. Mmm, you should try it. Want some of mine? Uh, maybe some other mm. time. Oh, come on, Mika, do it for me. Do it for Bram. Okay, right. Um, interesting. Hmm. Whoa, it's amazing. Mm. I told you. So, Mara is the name of the uh, setting of the previous two games that they did. It's like a uh, Wind Waker Great Sea kind of place, but with a bit of sci-fi. Bram is from Mara, uh, and there's another couple of characters who are also from Mara. Um, uh, right, Mint Crystal for Yulu. Um, so, the Mara ice cream is like a taste of the sea. Oh, wait, no, it's not you! Ah! Cecile. Miss Cecile, how nice to see you at the party. Hello, sweetie. Oh, my Jean-Paul insisted that I have some free time. Um, what were his exact words? Ah, that I had to chill out. So here I am at the party. <laughs> and um, so how's it going on the farm? Oh, it's going very well. In fact, better than ever. Yeah, sea salt ice cream. Uh, everything is like, so Mara's ice cream is specifically made with uh, dried pink seaweed. And I'm thinking, that, that sounds really good. It sounds so good. Uh, everything is perfect now that my Jean-Paul is back home. He makes everything easier, almost effortless. That sounds wonderful, Miss Cecile. Oh, I got something for you. Ah, is that mint ice cream? Pretty fancy, huh? Yeah, I saw Bram make one of those the other day, and it looks so delicious. How sweet of him to make one for me. Hmm. Sweetie, what's with the face? Are you alright? Yeah, uh, it's just, um... Can I have some, miss? It looks so good. Oh, she didn't want the, she didn't want the, the Mara ice cream. But as soon as the ch the chocolate, the mint chocolate chip comes out. All right, last one. Yulu wants lemon. Here you go, <gasps> Mousy. Hey Yulu, how's the windmill? It's working. Now Aurora Town has electricity again, without that nasty smoke. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, that's what I heard. The smoke factory is out of business. Oh. Goodbye, soot. 
It's for good, right, Mr. Canary? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't probably shouldn't whistle into the mic. <laughs> uh, wait, what do canaries actually sound like? <laughs> Um, Bram told me that you were waiting for some lemon ice cream. Um, oh, right. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever had an ice cream, so I wanted a regular flavor. Wait, you've never had ice cream? Never? Uh, so, Mika, do you eat it all at once, or do you take bites, or what? <laughs> Careful. Don't eat the whole thing in one bite. What do you mean? You should... Did I, uh, did I not enable clipping? You should be able to make clips. I'll edit that in a bit. Uh, you should uh, clipping should be allowed. Uh, careful, don't eat the whole thing in one bite. Ah, my head! <laughs> hmm, I think everyone got the food they ordered. So I'm meeting Allegra now. She said she wanted to show me something. Just like the book said, the mushrooms light each other up. Ah, uh, she's she's friend flirting. <clears throat> you were gonna show me that thing, right? Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> wow, you got here just in time. Look, what is this? Is this a broom? Uh -huh. Aha! Yes, it is, little one. Everyone on the island has chipped in to buy it for you. Whoa! No way! See, Mika, this is a witch broom. And wait, wait, wait a minute, Allegra. Explain it to me tomorrow, because honestly. I'll forget the details. And the last thing I want is to turn this beauty into splinters. Yeah, I agree. Uh -huh. Okay then, let's resume the flying lessons tomorrow. Ole! Now, party time! Fireworks. Thankfully quiet ones, so that the dogs aren't, aren't spooked. Quiet works. Day four. <laughs> well, little one, the time has come, don't you think? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes! Tell me all about my new broom. <clears throat> Mika, this is a witch broom. <gasps> I can carry four parcels. Such a powerful broom, it will lift you into the night sky and ride tornadoes. But be extremely careful. Okay, okay. So, what are you waiting for? Don't tell me. You're nervous to test your new broom. Oh. Flying through a tornado sounds super dangerous, but you've pro improved so much. You'll make it to the top of the mountain without your hat falling off. You, you really mean that? Aha, you're ready, little one. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you, Allegra. I think I'm ready too. At least, writing this letter has helped me think I'm ready. Huh? Are you serious? I mean, are you writing Oligari a letter? That's really formal. <laughs> well, in fact, I know she's not a fan of letters, but I feel it's time for me to write and send a letter instead of just delivering them. Time to write my own destiny. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think, well, Oligari will understand, even if she is too lazy to read. <laughs> Do you think? Yeah, don't be fooled by appearances. So your plan is to go there and um, give her the letter to what exactly? To tell her what I think of her famous technique of throwing me off Mont Gorn, and that I've learned the first lesson. <sighs> Get to the top of Mont Gorn. Okay, before I do that, oh look at it! Whoa, look at how look at how fast it is. Um, before I do that, I do want to go back and get the the that, and hang on a mo. Yeah, there's another area that I haven't explored either. Oh, I guess that was like the tornado place. Right, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, the seed. Yeah, we're gonna go and we're gonna go and seed. Gotta plant the seed. I think it might be the place with the uh, the telescope. That's my that's my guess. See a collectible. The radius to actually collect the collectibles is like way smaller than I'm expecting it to be. 
Huh. Right. Oh, the smoke smack smoke smactory is still smactering. Let's see if uh, Mr. Soot is still about. Nope, he's gone. But it doesn't actually darken the rest of the sky when you're here now. Still plays the ominous music. Uh, right, where was I going? Yeah, I need to get up there so that I can take the tornado up. How are we doing for collectibles? 21. So we can get the other two keychains, but I think I want to save up for the, the last outfit. Well, I'm going to get everything eventually. I'm in 100% this game. Wait, no, it was this way, wasn't it? Ugh. What a fool I am. That might be it, actually. Oh, right, no, that is the, uh, that is the telescope place. I like those road things for you to remember things by. Yeah, I know, I'm bad at navigating. Give me a break. Okay, I thought... I thought that would work out better, but it's fine. Uh. The thing is, there are actually road signs. I thought you were, I thought you were teasing me. Like, uh, here's a road sign. Oh, hey, there's a... No, I need to... Ugh. Stop getting distracted. Right. What I need to do is, like, get a run up. Oh, hey, here's the last kite. Uh, I guess we'll take it to the kids before we do the, the final plot. So actually, I think I do have to come at it from the uh, the loop. It's so easy to miss stuff in games. Ah. ah, we can't quite get high enough. How did we get up there the first time? Do we just come into the the loop from a higher angle? Or maybe we aimed for the right-hand side. So it looks like the right-hand side is slightly lower. What? No. I feel like I got less height that time. How did I do it? Do I need to hit both of them? Both of the loops? Might not even be the, the, the place to... That we have to end up going. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or what I did differently there. You gotta hit the upper right of that loop. Okay. Ah! Whoops. Not the correct button. Pro tip, if you're trying to fly a broom, don't press the button that gets you off the broom. MLG. Big brain. Genius mode. What other things people say? Eh. I want up. I want uppies. Ah, <sighs> pog, Kobe, Kobe pog, Cobra pog, Copa pod. Huh. Nope. All right, let's take this this 
kite back to the kids. Currently play on that specific beach. Unless, did I? No. I suspect that what we may have to do is, ugh. It's weird, like, camera distortion going on there. I suspect that what we may have to do is... Is that them? That's them. Hello. <laughs> and with this kite, we got them all. Right? <laughs> yep. Hmm. So? Ah, thanks, Mika. Uh, have you seen how high our drone flies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You aren't going to play with those kites ever again, am I right? No, not at all. Yeah, th yeah, this was this was predictable. Little gremlin children. Uh, right. Ooh, there's a friend up there. Who are you? Hi, it's um, it's Kiala. She's come out of her sh her shell. And she's been doing just fine. So it looks like there was actually only one yellow orb place to go. Hey, Fwen. You've trained so hard. This is a piece of cake. I'm sure. Gotta be an Anne, because you just want friends. Started off with a friend. How did it end up like friends? It was only a friend. It was only a friend. Jealousy turning snakes into the sea. Cause I'm Mr. Friendside. Yeah, I might have to like go back and see what I did the first time I got up there. Because, like, I've done it once. Maybe we need to... We can use a tornado to get ourselves up there. <gasps> Vanny. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Vanny. Uh, I need to ask you something. <laughs> Hello, witchy witch. How are you? Wait, what is this? <laughs> oh, this? Hmm, what do you think it is? Dunno, it looks like quite a big seed. Let me take a closer look. What? Hmm, am I crazy or is it like a heart beating inside? That's because it's the heart of the mountain. Really? Oh no, you're making that face again. Please don't be mad at me, Vanny. Mad? Oh no, 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 how could I? You've brought me the biggest discovery of my life. Ouch, my ears. I'm not gonna shout. I'm not gonna shout. I'm not gonna shout at the microphone. I'm not gonna clip. Uh, sorry, I know you know I tend to get really loud when I have this kind of epiphany. So, where did you find it? How? Tell me everything. Oh, actually, I was expecting you to tell me something. You see, the seed comes from the ancient deity that inhabited Mount Mount Gorn. They were, or I guess, still are, the island's magic source. Uh, sorry, one sec. Uh, wow, so my hypothesis was correct. The heart of the mountain is... What creates the wind currents? However, the heart was rooted in a cave, isolated and rather sad. They transformed into the seed so that when planted outside the cave, they could see the outside world again. Okay, matter transmutation, botany. Uh, I know a lot about those things, so what's the question? Yeah, yeah, the question, Um, do you know where we can plant it? Ooh, hmm. I think the seed needs a bed rich in magical sediment. And the only place I know like that is actually this place. What? Greenwater Lake? How do you think the water gets its color? It's the same color as all the other water in the game. Alright, so should we plant it? Oh, Vanny, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, I would rather do some test analysis and stuff before we bury it for good. This is the most important research asset I've ever come across, but instead I can wait for the seed to grow and just talk to the heart of the mountain. 
Come on, Mika, this tornado can't stop you. So where? Oh, I guess it's this this lake she was talking about. There he is! There he is! There he is! That's him. Whoa! <gasps> Look at how high. Okay, so it wasn't the... Uh, it wasn't the... We were barking up entirely the wrong tree. Temple ruins. Oh, okay. No, we got some yellobs here. Let's grab them. Yeah, this feels like the final, the final ascent, the gauntlet, the test of all of the flying skills. Oh no! They are fragile, aren't they? Yeah, this is going to be the test. Everything that we've learnt. One. And... Two. Come on. Up, 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 up. Oh, collectible down there. Is there another one? No. I think they've got like a really good movement system for this game, and it would be really cool if they had um, time trials and... Uh, oh, that wasn't necessary. That was just to help me if I fell down. You could have like time trials and obstacle courses and you could have uh, all kinds of like interesting speed gameplay. I think like there's really room to expand on the premise, you know? Like it's a short and sweet game, provided we are actually in the end game, which I think we are. You don't normally have a party like that in a game unless it's the very end. Um, those sorts of parties are like end game parties. Um, no, oh, there's apparently five collectibles here. Wonder what the speedrun is like. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well. Good start. I don't know. There's probably a fair bit of uh, sh movement. I don't know if there's actually like speed on tech. Certainly, like I feel like there could be. Um, the game that they made before this one, Koa and the Five Pirates of Mara, was like a uh, Super Mario style course clear game. Uh, and there's a lot of like really cool movement tech in that game. Uh, so I suspect that one would have a really good, uh, a really good speed run. And this one I think is just fun to move around, so. Interesting that there's still like winds around here, even with the heart of the mountain gone. We're getting closer to our destination. Yeah, big, a short hike vibes from this section of the game.
I should play that again. I think I did it on stream. Spooder Fam 2 for the Nintendo Play Square. Yeah. I mean, the Spider Spider-Man games are really cool for movement. Uh, does one hear a fan? Star. Very deep. Um, yeah, like Ultimate Spider-Man on the GameCube was like one of the best Spider-Man games. Okay, that's... Let's get our, our boost token back. Yeah, so uh, we've got the Magician. Where are they? The Magician, the Temperance, the Hermit, Strength, Tower, Star, Death. Uh, she's just child. Why throw a child into pots? Uh, you have to throw a child into pots because otherwise pots don't break, and you got to get the you got to get the the JoJo's out of them. The pots have Jojo's in them, and you need to throw a child at pots to break pots to get Jojo's out of pots. That's the short answer, anyway. Ooh. So this is weird. It feels like I don't have enough height, even if I boost, to get up here. Next child I see, slammed into pottery. Correct. Why is Jojo Siwa in pots? <laughs> Man, could you imagine? I actually saw some fan art a while ago of like Jojo Siwa posing with all the Jojos, and they all had like hair ribbons like hers. Oh, I think it is just like sometimes you get enough height and sometimes you don't. It was really cute, and like some of them, I think Jolene and jo uh, Jolene and Jorno and Josuke oh. were all really happy about it, but uh, all the others were kind of take it or leave it. Oh, little one. Here you are. How's it going? Did you learn your lesson? Yes, I did. It took me a while, but I did it. Make your way back up here on your own. Yes, you did it. Congratulations. Well, that was only part of the lesson. There is one more thing. What? Ah, just a simple question. I have to ask you one last time. Yeah, she's very clearly uh, inspired by what's her name from Spirited Away. Did you bring your apprentice supplies with you? Let me see. And hmm, why don't I see the plastic skull talisman? You never liked it, so I guess you threw it off a cliff, or worse, you gave it to someone, didn't you? <laughs> You're right, miss. I gave it to Kiala. She needed it, but not for meditation. Mm. Oh, what a waste. A waste? No, miss, it is not. The talisman doesn't have to only be used in one way. What if it means something different to her, to me? What if Kiala has her own wisdom? What if this terrible talisman means to us that we are friends and that we should trust our friendship rather than worshipping the idols of the past? Wow, I can't believe you rejecting your ancestors for a nobody you just met. I don't reject them, Oligari. I just hear them differently to you. Oh, really? Hmm, what makes you think that? A hunch. Oh, you ate my chocolate? My chocolate? What happened? Were you so hungry down there? Did people not treat you right? Oh, um, people were very kind to me, actually. Very kind. That's why I shared my chocolate with Allegra, the village craftswoman. She took care of me and taught me a lot without throwing me off a mountain. I guess someone else could learn a thing or two from her, huh? I get the feeling that this is part of the test. Ah, hmm. Well, we are not here to judge anyone but you. Let's move on. Ah, uh, you know, what good is a hunch for? Uh, oh, you know what a hunch is good for? Interpreting arcane glyphs. But since your tempera paints are also missing... Well, miss, hunches are also good for knowing how to act. That's how I knew I had to give them to Andros to paint again. A professional painter with tempera paints? Ha, what an idea. Oh, was it so bad, really? Hmm, tell that to the masterpiece you paint. Are tempera paints not, like... Are they... Do, do artists, like, treat them with scorn? I feel like tempera is, like, a proper professional kind of whatever. After feeling like a child again with no pressure... Something inside, like there's a there's a really famous Salvador Dali painting that was made with tempera. I don't know. You usually hear about oil paints. 
Hmm, you learned so much, didn't you? I'm gonna look it up, because it's actually gonna bother me. Tempera. Uh, not to be confused with tempura. Permanent fast drying paint consisting of pigments mixed with egg yolk. Uh, oh, egg tempera was a primary method of painting until after 1500 when it was superseded by oil painting. Um, a paint consisting of pigment and binder commonly used in the United States as poster paint is often also referred to as tempera paint. Okay, so maybe it is like viewed as kids kids paint in uh, in like some parts of the world. I don't know. Did you come to that conclusion on your own? Well, kind of, miss, now that I think about it. Allegra knew I would make that choice. Where is your magic book? Don't tell me you dropped it when you fell off the mountain. When I was pushed off the mountain, madam, I lent it to a friend of mine, Fanny the Scientist. Oh, and for what purpose? What is she doing snooping around in your family's magic book? What a shame, little one. But miss, I didn't feel right keeping all that knowledge to myself. I don't think the gift of magic should be only for us witches, Miss Elgari. Hmm, those are interesting thoughts. You remind me of an old friend. Allegra, Allegra, Allegra! What a wonderful teacher she was, don't you think? Oh, you look upset, Miss Oligari. Jealous, perhaps? Huh? What a clever, clever conclusion, apart from the fact it's nonsense. Yes, she was a better teacher than you, and she taught me with kindness to use my talent to help others. So you, being back here, is all thanks to a simple, nosy craftswoman. I'm devastated. You've learnt nothing, little one. Oh no, you are mistaken, miss. I've learned so much. I've even come to my own conclusions. Really? Hmm, I can't wait to hear them. Actually, I wrote it all down in a letter. Oh. Ugh. Hmm, all right, come on then. Give me your precious letter. I'm itching with curiosity. Hmm, wait. I think I have a better idea. I don't want to bother you, so... Since I've given it so much thought, I can summarise it for you. It's simple. If being a witch means being like you, and I mean being cruel and mean and a miserable has-been, all bored and bitter... Hey, ouch! You're exaggerating a bit, don't you think? I don't know, not alone. Edgar is here with me. Besides, I see where you're going with this, so keep it short. Okay, okay. So, if, it, if being like you means being someone who is not nice, and being someone who keeps all the good things she's capable of to herself... See, that's better. Clean. Elegant. Keep going, little one. If that's the case, I don't want to be like you. I don't want to be that kind of witch. My place is with the people of Montgorn, not stuck up here with you, Miss Oligari. Hmm. Ugh, now what? Nothing, it's just... Seems like you actually learned something. And oh, you really moved me with your speech. Aha, so... Well, I think it's time to move on to the next lesson. What? Ah, okay, wait, let me get a good grip on the broom this time. Wait, her hair changed. <gasps> what? Well, little one, what do you think? Oh, she was always calling us little one anyway. They all, ah. A seer who didn't see it coming, huh? A seer? What, what are you talking about? Besides, you've been playing with me this whole time? Yeah, I know. It was very cruel, that's true. However, all this acting was necessary to awaken your real greatest talent. Trust me. Look, I couldn't bequeath the Stella Lighthouse, all of this responsibility, to a nobody. You understand me, right? My time here is over, as an ouch, as you put it before so eloquently. Hmm, you mean the miserable old has-been thing? Well, it was a bit harsh, but I can't believe what you did to me, Allegra. I trusted you. I had to test you. I had to make sure that you would understand that your place is not just this piece of rock. That you were not going to fall into the same trap of arrogance and isolation like me. Maybe... Oh, I see. I could have taught this lesson in a different way. I'm sorry. And so the teacher learned something too, little one. You never stop learning. Allegra. Olegari. What's your real name? I know you're confused. Hurt. I hope you can forgive me. Uh-uh. I mean, it was a genuine question. And the crow. His name is Edgar, right? Yes, he is your familiar now. You can say he is the guardian of the lighthouse. Like you. And what about you? Will you return to Orilla Town now? 
Aha, little one. This is your house now, and I, I'm really happy there, you know? Wow, I can't believe it. I'm finally a witch. Ah, uh -uh, you're still a trainee, don't forget that. You're learning the second lesson. Right, right, and what is it? The most important of all, always listen to your heart. Friend? Oh, now they're playing with their kites again. Yeah, and you can keep all the work to yourself. There's Allegra. Oh, she's oh she was the one that makes the little the little things for Edgar. There was a, a conversation that some of the fishermen had where they're like, "Do you know those little statues? And uh, they're of no value to anyone unless you're a crow." Aww. I'm glad that Kiala got back into the violin. Oh, and there's the guy! There's the guy up there! There he is! did it! So that was Mika and the Witch's Mountain. GG. Yeah, I, re I really like it. Very cute game. Love it. Short and sweet. I feel like there was room for expansion. Um... They could definitely do more with the concept and like the the engine, uh, but definitely, uh, what there is is really nice. I like it. This is very very cute. Might pick up a game or two by this shoot. You should, Diana. I think you'd really like this one and the other two that they've made. Uh, Summer in Mara is the first one, which is like a kind of Harvest Moon kind of game, and the other one is. Uh, Koa and the Five Pirates of Mara, which is like a Super Mario course clear game. Oh. Yeah, I'm happy with that. There's all the diamond backers. Kitty Livingston Garcia. Oh man, there's so many. Loads of people back the game. Ali Witchheart. That's like a, a perfect name for this game. There's a Beowulf in there. I think it's always fun when you see um, crowd crowdfunded games, and there's uh, there's people like with real names juxtaposed with people with the internet names. Oh, oh! You can. You can scroll back and forth. And look at... Look at... 
thank you everybody. All of the people who put this. I'm also somewhere on this list, I think. Uh, although it might be with a different different username. Um, but yeah, thanks to everybody who backed it. Because uh, it's been ready for. Oh, there's a Mika! There's, there's two Mikas Mika Horton and Mika Reynolds. Paul Varotti. Well done, everybody. Support bug. Yeah, I mean... So, I, I downloaded Summer in Mara because I was looking for a, uh, like, kind of a cute Harvest Moon kind of game. Um, and it was really nice. And then I started, like, following some of the other stuff that they were doing. Uh, so, I have on my shelf uh, Koa... Uh, statuette from like oh this is gonna be like a big long list isn't it? Look at all the Aaron's even. Um, the Aaron's and the Abbeys. Uh, from Koa and the Five Pirates of Mara, and I will also be getting a little vinyl figurine from Mika. At some point, but I think they're still like in production. I normally do just sit through all the credits just to like show my appreciation, but I feel like okay, I'm just gonna scroll through these quickly. Like, but, like look, so so many Amandas. I feel like if I don't, we're gonna be here for like an hour. We can just do a quick couple of quick blasts. Just admire all the Benjamins and the Bethanies. And the bills and the billies. And Boroviak Jerome Marie Alice. Interesting. Lots of Britneys. Bubbles. Might have been under it. I don't know what tier I backed it at. I don't think I was silver, actually. Maybe my name isn't in these credits. Yeah, I'm going to just whiz through these. I'll stop on J, just in case I put it under this name. Show me the J's. H's eyes. J. J. Jack. Jack. Jackal. Jackson. Cola. That's not me. Nah, it looks like it, I didn't. If I was back in at a different tier, it wasn't. Uh, wasn't. Silver. So. I do appreciate all of these guys putting their money towards this game, which I love. But also, there's just so many of them. And I don't know that... Ugh. I'm the keeper of the Stella Lighthouse. Can you believe it? But, hee <laughs> what does that mean? I'm sure I'll find out eventually. I have to learn the second lesson. Always listen to your heart. Ah, my beloved Mistress Witch. Always so cryptic. Anyway, I think she means that, um, there's still work to be done. That I shouldn't stay up here. Hmm, how about I fly down to Arilla Town and take a look around? I can't wait to jump off the top of Mount Gorn. Witch Broom, here we go. Fun doesn't stop here. More adventures, saw the skies in search of treasures, lost packages, witchy outfits, and get to know secret characters and side quests. Ah, <gasps> cool. Uh, okay, well, why don't we call it for now? Um, and we can come back and do the, the post game in a bit. Uh, we're gonna wait two hours, and that's fine. That's a fine amount of time to go. And I'm getting kind of tired and I wanted a cup of tea and a little, a little sleepy. Um, I also have some sourdough that I need to go and attend to. Um, yeah, this was fun. I will finish this game later. Thanks all for joining. Um, bye. <laughs>